young lad, basically, who came running in. He had blood pouring down his face. His hand was covered in blood as well. Drugs and violence and knife crime. Why is it getting out of hand? My name is Mubi Nazar, and I was born and raised in a town called Huddersfield. As a journalist, I couldn't ignore what was going on in my hometown. Everything I was hearing linked the violence to some kind of drug turf war, often involving young men, sometimes even kids. You're right. thank you for taking it up. It was hard enough to get adults to talk, but teenagers in the game were another thing altogether. I found someone willing to speak to me as long as he could conceal his identity. There's been this bump in, in violence and crime. Yeah. Do you know what that's about? Do you know why things have changed so much? The beef in our mainly is, like, the majority is because of drugs. It's just like, that's what's causing all the shooting and stabbings. So when, when did you start carrying a weapon around with you? How old were you? Well, we were like 13 when like people I was chilling with like started like gripping weapons in it and like and I started carrying a weapon because I started getting involved with what they were doing here. Yeah. All 14s and moving heroin and coke in it. What was the kind of attraction of running with those people? I just thought I just thought it was cool in it. Then when I started like actually gaining enemies and having to use what I carry like to protect myself, then that's when that's when I realized it was serious in it. But back then it was all fun and games. Is it easy for you to get a gun? Guns are, guns are easy to get in with this week because it's just small. Everyone knows each other can get a gun from a phone call. If easy. you made a phone call, you'd be able to get a gun today? Yeah, they, they, they're getting easier and easier to get. The idea that this kid was just a phone call away from getting a gun made me sick. And when I looked into it, I found out that in the last five years, possession of all weapons in my hometown had risen by over 300%. Carrying an axe around or a machete or a knife. It's kind of unbelievable that he's doing that when he's so young. I mean, it's horrible at any age, but to be doing that when you are in your early teens is really shocking. I wanted to find out why kids were being drawn into this world. I was eventually put in touch with some mid-level dealers who agreed to talk to me about why they needed a gun. We're in the drop house. This is it. I'm not used to being in a room with a gun. So when I see that and it's, you know, like a meter away from my face, like I feel I don't like it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not used to that. But in, in your life, are you used to it? Mm -hmm. If you, if you work for Tesco, you walk around with one of those creepy things like spam things. So it's turns up the job, I guess. What about just like baseball bats? Or what about other weapons? Why do you need a gun? Because a good person has a gun in there for baseball, but aren't you the same? Is there a situation in which you think you'd you'd actually use it? Uh, I'll be your life in mine. Did you get your hands on a gun when you got to a particular level? You know, I just didn't try to do something and I felt disrespected enough to then take measures. And I got all the way about them. How old were you when you got your first handgun? Do you think a lot of young people have guns now? I don't think young people have them. I think it's weird as well. I like kind of forcing the young bucks to do stuff because they've got less time. You know, over a certain age, you know, they're caught with a gun, you know. You should feel be going for that for maybe when you get far more than of the routine than you are of in the routine. You're saying that the older dealers will get younger people to like, basically carry stuff out for them? If you know you can manipulate a child's mind into doing something, if he doesn't even have the, the sense or the knowledge really for it to be such a big thing in their mind, never mind to the law, probably not get more than seven years for it murder. Being so close to a gun made me feel really uncomfortable. But the more I thought about their casual attitude to weapons and violence and its effect on my hometown, the more frustrated I became. All of us are sick to the back teeth of hearing about another shooting on that street and this street and outside the mosque and outside my old school and outside my old college. We are sick to death of it. And it's because of these people. It's because of their greed, the people's lives are being ruined. And they're not thinking about those implications. And that's why there is this cloud at the moment over Huddersfield. There is this cloud over the whole place. 